Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Paper Craft and I'm back with the tutorial. Today we're going to do this stage fold or theatre fold card. Um, I don't know who originally created this but I know I came across it on a channel called oh, Paper Folds or something but it's by a guy called, I believe it's Duncan Birmingham. Um, and he does all kind of like folds and I know he had it on ages ago and then I think people have obviously just made it from possibly that or wherever I, I really don't know but it's a it's popular at the minute so this was the first one but I messed it up um, but I'm just going to basically show you it's kind of opens like that so it's simple to do when you, you know you just got to know which bits to stick where so we're going to make going to make that today so what i've got for the base basis of the card i've got four pieces all cut the same and they are six i've cut mine to six inches by four and one eighth okay so you need four of them all the same size um, and then i've got one for the front i've got the back and then i've got two for the panels okay so that's going to be the back so we don't have to do anything to that and um, the front panel which is going to end up having a window cut out of it i've got a piece of patterned paper which i've cut just a tiny little bit smaller and um, so probably maybe five and seven eighths by four inches and i'm going to glue that on there just so it leaves a little bit of a border. Now, to cut your window, you can just use a craft knife if you want, but I found these little dies that I've got and they cut out my window pretty well. So, mine, my window is gonna be four inches by two and a half, okay? So I'm just going to quickly grab the machine. And then we're just going to cut this out of the middle. But I mean, you could even cut it out of like different shapes, you know, even a circle or whatever. You don't have to have it this shape if you don't want to. Right, so there's my little window. Just get this out of the way. Right, so that's that bit done there. And then we're going to take our two other pieces and we're going to score them on the long side both exactly the same <clears throat> okay so you want to be scoring these at three inches well sorry one and a half and three now basically all that is, is whatever size you do it, you are going to score it half and then you're going to half it again. So mine is six, half is three, half of three is one and a half. So that's how you do it. So whatever size you make them, just half it. So it's six, three would be half of that. Half of three is one and a half. And that's how you get your panel bits. Okay, so the way <clears throat> the way you want to have these is just fold them on the score lines and they go let me just get this right so they go where 
Where's my back piece? This is my back panel. You would be sticking them. No, say that's wrong. I always get mixed up with this bit. <laughs> that's right, yes. So you want it to be where the fold is in the middle. Okay, so that's what you should have now. So we've got little pieces of paper to decorate it. Um, these ones measure, I had wrote it on the back, yeah, two and seven eighths by four. And you need three of these. I've got one for the middle and I've Okay, so that's basically what you should have. Now I've done something wrong again. I shouldn't have stuck these down onto the back panel yet because you can have a little kind of strip in the middle when you pull it open. And to get that, what we need to do is get a pencil and a ruler and so this bit here which is why I shouldn't have glued it on the back until I'd done this but I'm going to measure in about um, I would say three eighths of an inch mark it with a pencil and then I'm gonna yeah have it about a quarter of an inch up and I've just put a tiny little pencil mark there and what I'm going to do is I am going to draw on from that mark to about one inch and I'm going to cut a slit so that is going to be cut into a slit can you see that there so I'm going to do the same on this side I'm going to measure in about three eighths measure up a quarter of an inch and then pencil draw a pencil line one inch long now you see why I shouldn't have done stuck this on is because I don't want to cut through to the back so I'm just going to put this scrap piece of card behind so that I don't cut through to the back piece and um, so I've got a craft knife and a ruler and I am just going to make a slit in over this pencil line oh, that's okay it hasn't gone through to the back piece now that I've put that piece of card it's gone through there instead so again, just cut this little slit. So I suppose you could put it on if you wanted to and then just do what I've done and put something behind it. So now we've got two little slits there. So we've got a piece of card which is six by one and a half inches we are going to score it on the short side at a quarter of an inch flip it round a quarter of an inch again 
the long side half an inch flip it round half an inch again so you end up with that now what you want to do is take some scissors okay and you want to cut up here and you want to remove this long quarter of an inch score line but not the little tabs at the end flip it round do the same again cut the long quarter of an inch score line Okay, and you'll have this and then what you can do is I just folded these little bits over for now and then you can slot it through here now you want it you don't want it to be really tight because you want it to be able to slide in and out so when you put it through that's not too bad and then that will stop it from coming back through if you get what I mean. So I don't know, I might actually make my cut, my cut slits a little bit wider when I put this back through again because I just feel like it's kind of dragging a little bit so I'll do that later because I don't need this bit at the minute. Yeah, I might just, as I'll show you what I mean, I'm just going to just lengthen them a little bit so they're not as tight there we go that'll be better right so this front piece here you should have two little pieces of card which are five and one eighths by one inch and what they're going to do is they are going to get stuck on the back but what I do first is I just put them on the front like this and we've just got that overhanging and then just fold them over like that and then when I turn this round I know that I've got to stick those on there Okay, because you don't want this to be tight at all you want this to be able because it's going to slot through the front of your card so again just put it on like this and then just fold fold them over the edge like that and then when you take it off it will be the right measurement to pop on to the back so we just need to glue them on there. Okay, just like that. Same with this one. down okay 
And then you're going to take your card and what you're going to do is you are going to slot this through here. Okay, and then you're going to slot this through the other one. We've got to punch our little holes out first actually, but I'm just showing you how we're going to work it. So can you see? So I'm going to take it back off because I haven't punched my little holes again. And they are going to go through just you can do one at a time but I'm just going to try both I've got a one inch circle punch and I'm just going to roughly go in the middle like that and I'm going through both together and that's going to give you your little finger holes and then I'm going to pop this one back in hopefully it will be a bit better now Okay, so this one does slot in a bit better now, um, but you just have to be careful when, I don't know whether it might be best to like glue it on the back so that it's not going to move around as much. Um, yeah, that's that bit there. So I want to decorate it and I'm using this adorable little set which is Hammy Birthday. <laughs> the gorgeous little hamsters so I've stamped and fussy cut the wheel and then the little hamster and I'm going to have him on his little wheel I've stamped and coloured in the little hammy house and then I've got this other little hammy and he's going to have a little party hat on and I also cut out a little sunflower a uh, little seed so he can nibble on that Um so just a case of popping them where you want them so i'm going to have the wheel on the back down there I mean isn't that just so cute <laughs> I really like you so they're not hard to do just adorable so I'll have all the info on my blog and um, with all the measurements again um, in centimeters and inches if you want to make it but yeah it's just adorable so thanks for watching take care and bye for now